Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the channel for today's video. And today we're gonna take the KLX 140 and we're gonna make it look sick. Now we got some new front end parts that we're gonna swap it onto it, as you guys know by the title. Now I'm sure as many as you guys know, this is our KLX 140 RF. Now if you were to ask me if there's anything I didn't like about the KLX 140, there'd be one thing on my mind. And it has to do with its looks. Now generally speaking, I love the look of the KLX 140, but there's one certain piece I don't enjoy. Now as you guys can see here, this is what is known as the duck bill. Now this thing is kind of ugly if you're gonna ask me and it's just the way that it's shaped generally speaking now the rest of the bike i really do like the way it looks and it's like angular shapes but then you get to this duck bill and it kind of reminds me of like the old plastic style and i just don't like it that much now if we were to compare it to the other bikes that we got here in the garage you can see on the husky it's got much more of like an angular pointed front nose front fender and then if you look even over our xr it still has more of like a pointed front fender now when we come back and compare that to the klx you can see this one's just a lot more like a duck bill <laughs> That's where I get this name from, is it literally looks like a duck's bill. So here we have a 2016 KX100 front fender that we're gonna be swapping over onto the KLX. Now let's go ahead, I'll pop this out of the bag and let's take a closer look. Now, as you guys can see, this has quite a much more angular point to it, which is gonna look a lot more aggressive. I think it's just gonna overall, it's gonna suit the style of the bike a lot more and just look way cooler. So there's our kind of gross looking duck bill compared to the KX100 front fender. So I know there are a couple small little modifications that are gonna be needed to fit this KX100 front fender onto the KLX140. So I'll go ahead and we'll show you those as we go through the process. But if you guys are interested in picking up one of these KX100 fenders, they will be linked down below in the description. You can still buy them brand new. So as you guys can see down underneath the fender, there's four bolts that hold it in. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna pop those four bolts out here and uh, let's pull off this front fender. Boom. All right, now there's the two front fenders side by side. You can really tell the difference in the duck bill to the KX100 and just how much more aggressive the KX100 fender looks. You'll also notice the KX100 fender comes back a whole lot further and this is where some minor modification might be needed. Now I'm gonna take these little metal tabs and we're gonna remove them from that fender and we're gonna insert them into the KX100 fender. Now here's the KX100 fender that we're looking at and here's the tabs from the duck bill fender. Now these are gonna sit in the top of this fender. Now they aren't an absolute super tight fit it like they are in the duck bill fender but that's all right we just really want these so that there's something metal to crush on the bolt and then it's not just going to break the plastic off but at least now we have these metal eye rings so now i'm going to go ahead and test fit the kx100 fender on the klx 140 and show you the next issue that we're running into and how we're going to solve it now the next issue we run into when we start to fit this fender is if we go to set it up where it's going to want to bolt in right there we run into an issue down here now if you guys can see this tab right back in here where my finger's at that's actually rubbing up against the back of the fender. So there's two ways you could fix this problem. One would be going along the back side of the fender and you could go ahead and cut a line across here and trim off the back section of the fender, but I wanna keep as much of the fender as I can because that protects rocks from actually chipping up along this frame tube here. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go with option two, which is to add some spacers into here, which will make the nose of it sit higher and the butt end of the fender sit lower, clearing the frame. At least that's what I hope for. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Now, as you guys can see, there are a single spacer in the back and there's no spacers in the front and we got our fender mounted it up and now clears the frame and no longer hits the frame back there completely clear as well as it clears this piece right here we've now got gappage between there and it doesn't rub so now we've got our kx100 on the front of the klx 140 so now i'm going to go ahead and just get it squared up so it sits all right angles and all that stuff and we'll give you a showcase here in a sec now because of those holes being larger for the metal rings that slide down into them the fender has some keep in mind the bolts aren't tightened down but you have some side to side play with it it doesn't just want to line up perfectly on its own so we're going to have to play with this and get it lined up just right and then tighten down the bolt so it sits correctly and look straight. All right, after about five minutes, just finagling, pulling it, pushing it, tighten the bolts, loosen the bolts, get them just right. Let's take a look at the KX100 fender on a KLX 140RF.
Now, for those of you that are curious, I did end up using the stock KLX 140 number plate, so you don't actually have to use a KX100 number plate, so you can swap over the fender without doing the number plate mod. Now, you can do that if you want. It looks cool. They come in green color, so it can match the fender. But yeah, for those wondering, this is this original number plate, and it fits up pretty well. There's not some crazy, crazy gappage. Uh, it actually works out pretty cool. The angle of the KLX 140 actually fits right into the V of the KX 100 fender. And I think this thing came out looking absolutely sick. Gives it way much more of an aggressive front end compared to the duck bill. Yeah, I think this thing looks absolutely 100 times better than the old duck bill that was on it. And I'm so glad we got this KX 100 fender all mounted up and it looks absolutely sick. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you go down below, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.